I'm leaving home for the coastline Someplace under the sun I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on And there's a place that I've dreamed of where I can free my mind I hear the sounds of the season And lose all sense of time I'm moving far away To a sunny place Where it's just you and me Feels like we're in a dream You know what I mean The summer air by the seaside The way it fills our lungs The fire burns in the night sky This life will keep us young, yeah Keep us young by the ocean Our hearts will move with the tide And we will wake in the morning To see the sun paint the sky I'm moving far away To a sunny Feels like we're in a dream You know what I mean I'm moving far away To us
front wall Time has come as we all go down Yeah, but for the folk who my Do you dare to look them right in the eyes, yeah Oh, cause they be run you down, down to the dark Special memories of you will always bring a smile. If only we could have you back for just a little while. Then we could sit and talk again just like we used to do. You always meant so very much and always will do too. The fact that you're no longer here will always cause us pain. But you're forever in our hearts until we meet again. Having to say goodbye to someone you know is difficult. That's why gathering as family and as friends is so important. And so on behalf of Jaden's family, I warmly welcome you as we come together to pay tribute and to celebrate his life. Your presence here today is greatly appreciated. I would also like to welcome those who are unable to be here and are joining us by live stream. It is with no doubt that I say that none of you wanted to be here today, nor did you expect to be. Sometimes we face challenges that seem overwhelming, and today is one of those times, as we gather here to face one of life's most difficult moments, to say goodbye to someone you have loved and respected and who's been a part of your life. There are few words that can cushion the shock experienced when we are faced with a sudden and unexpected death which was an abrupt end to a young, vibrant life. Jaden's life, which came to an end at his time of choosing, was of course way too short. He knew the moments in life that were cherished in fun, friendship, sharing and loving, just as he also knew, knew the painful bouts of such a tormenting illness that entered his life. 
Jaden's life was blessed with a loving and supportive family who did and would have done anything to shoulder some of the burden and some of the pain for him. No matter how much you, you loved him and no matter how much you wanted to help and no matter what was said or done for him, you could not have prevented what happened. The pain of losing Jaden is heightened because you are unprepared for his passing or for the immense impact it brings to your own life. It is important to acknowledge that nothing you could have done will change what has occurred. You may come here with questions for which there really are no answers. Jaden is now at peace and he would expect his family and his friends to be also at peace, knowing that they always gave their best through the years, sharing his sense of release and leaving behind a feeling of peace that now, that now the struggle is over. It's your ongoing support of Jaden's family and, cl and close friends that is really important. To give them the opportunity to talk about him and share memories. And while we cannot take away the sadness of this occasion, it is also a time when we can celebrate Jaden's life and the things that he did. He was born on the 29th of November 1998 at the Burney Hospital when, um, at, to Stephen and Roslyn. As a young kid and together with his sister Nikki, they, they spent a lot of time outside on the farm playing in the mud, throwing rocks in the dam, riding their bikes around the paddock and swimming in the pool. Then there were fun times hanging out with his cousins and the times that they got up to mischief. Auntie Donna was not too happy when she looked out to find that Jaden and Jai and Nicky were sitting up on the roof of the house. Cousin Michaela remembers when they were kids chasing frogs in the rain with Jaden and catching lizards with Nicky. She said they liked to play on Jaden's big red car bed pretending to drive. Jaden enjoyed the camping trips to Stanley, spending time with family and walking to the wharf to drop in a line to catch a fish, exploring the beach and swimming in the sea. The family holidays to Melbourne and Queensland were certainly an eye-opener for Jaden, experiencing all the new things and staying at SeaWorld and the best part was all the rides in the theme parks. As a young boy, he was a member of the Burnie Boy Scouts, learning outdoor skills, earning badges and going to camps. Taekwondo was a big part of Jaden's life for three years. He attended classes four times a week and was good at the martial art. He attended Ridgely Primary and Parklands High Schools and went to Hellier for a time. He was not too keen on the academic subjects and that side of school, but like his father and his grandfather, he had a keen interest in woodwork. The adrenaline rush and the thrill and the exhilaration were all the things that Jaden experienced when motorbike riding. His first was a dirt bike that he rode fast and crazy around the farm. He then moved on to a road trail bike that he got his learner's licence on before buying another dirt bike to ride on the tracks at the back of Zeehan. A wild turkey, a smoke, Samboy barbecue chips, custard tarts, apple crumble his auntie Donna made, and popcorn chicken from, the K from KFC were just some of the things that, that Jaden that liked. He kept up with the latest trend in clothing as well and liked to dress really nice, always wearing a hoodie or a t-shirt and globe shoes. Jaden was an introvert, shy and quiet. He battled the ups and downs of mental illness. His dog Marley played an important role in his everyday living. Marley was there for him providing comfort when he needed it most. And although Jaden's illness was debilitating, he was always keen to help family members, especially his grandparents, helping them in the garden. 
His dad Stephen encouraged him to keep active and gave him what Jaden called work orders, chopping wood and cutting thistles. Not very good work orders there. <laughs> it was a sad time for Jaden when his dad died in September 2018 and he never really got over it. His grandfather Alan and Beryl became his support network, trying to fill the void that had been left when his dad died. They appreciated Jaden's help in the garden and all the other little jobs that he did for them. And not having a licence, Nan Beryl was his wheels, taking him wherever he needed to go. And she said it was amazing at the amount of people that Jaden knew. And when they were down the street, there was always someone saying hello to him. I think Nan Beryl used to take him to KFC a lot as well. It was not an easy time for Beryl and the family when Alan died in September of this year. And for Jaden, he took it hard. He'd lost his father figure, Farvey. Family just meant everything to Jaden. He loved them dearly and would do anything for them. A quiet, sensitive young fella who took everything to heart, he was a loving, caring soul and we can only hope that he's now at peace and finally free of the bleak and crushing reality that kept him in a dark place. He showed great resilience and strength to be the best version of himself. There is one thing for sure, Jaden Reed will be dearly missed and never forgotten. I'd like to invite his sister Nikki to come forward and she's going to share some memories and stories of Jaden with us. Um, I didn't think at 23 I would be bearing my childhood best friend, <laughs> my brother and my only sibling. <laughs> I thought we had so much more time, so many memories I will cherish forever. I've seen you at your absolute Sunday best and I've seen you below rock bottom, but never in my heart will I ever accept seeing a life without you in it. <laughs> I don't want to forget what it felt like when I found out you were gone because you deserve it. That's how much you mean to me. You may have left this world, but you will never leave our hearts. The weeks leading up to this, you seemed the happiest and most headstrong I have ever seen you in the last five years. But I now know that's how you wanted us all to remember you. I told you how proud of you I was and how much I loved you. Every time we talked, we always said we loved each other and I'll forever cherish that. I'm so grateful for the last time I saw you and the conversation we got to have. You had the biggest heart and you always wore it on your sleeve. We will always have questions that will never be answered and the what ifs will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I know you aren't suffering anymore and I know you are back with Dad now, which is what you wanted more than anything. Give Dad a kiss and a cuddle for me. Love always your baby sister. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. I now have an open invitation for any, of you, for any of you who would like to share a memory or a story about Jaden with us. This is Auntie Deb who found them on the roof when they were young. Auntie Donna. I remember the day Jaden was born. We went to meet him at the hospital. He was adorable. And you couldn't get prouder or more besotted parents than his. As he grew, he turned into a happy, loving, but quiet toddler with the most glorious head of blonde curls. 
He looked like an angel. He wasn't an angel, but no children are. Very soon along came Nicky, his bolder little sister that he adored from the start until the day he died. You never saw one without the other. Time quickly rolled on as it does. I remember all the birthday parties and camping trips over the years. One of my favourite memories was when we went to Melbourne for a holiday with Steve and the kids. We went over on the Spirit and stayed a few nights. We had a great time at Luna Park and Sovereign Hill panning for gold, shopping at the Vic Market where Jaden bought a pocket knife amongst other things. This was back before Wi-Fi was free and I remember Steve got quite a shock when he found out the kids had logged into the hotel internet and racked up a fairly hefty bill. Another time, Steve and the kids, and Grant, myself and a few of our kids went to a rodeo at Preston. The kids had a great time and at the end, of, at the end a few of them had a go at riding a mechanical bull. Jaden stayed on the longest, way longer than the others. I didn't see Jaden much after we lost Steve. When the kids grow up and move out, you really don't see them very much at all. Just the odd family gathering. But every time we did see him, he always had a big smile, a long cuddle and an I love you. Family was very important to Jaden and he struggled after he lost his beloved father as well. I know he had his doubts about whether he was loved or important to our family and I wish I'd tried harder to get him to believe he was. Jaden, you were always loved and always will be. And I will carry your sadness in my heart with mine until we meet again. I love you. <laughs> Don't fall over on us, Donna. No. Thank you. Was there anybody else who would wish us to speak? Good morning everybody. I'm honoured to share with you my memories of Jaden. Jaden's dad Stephen was my first cousin and it was only after his passing that I met and got to know Jaden. My second cousins I always refer to as little cousins. But Jaden always called me cuz cuz and I in turn called him Cuz Cuz back. We connected via Facebook, as many people do, and we would converse via Facebook Messenger. Almost every day I would wake to find a good day, Cuz Cuz. How are you doing today, hun? Sharing our ups and downs, thoughts and problems, Jaden always put everybody's feelings and troubles before his own. He always filled my screen with big blue hearts and rose emojis. Jaden faced many struggles throughout his short life, some products of the various situations and environments that he found himself in and some we will never understand. Throughout these struggles and life stormed, he sailed on like a lone captain throughout the sometimes fierce weather that he encountered. And like any good captain, Jaden always put his crew first, and that was his family and friends. Finally his boat has sailed into the beautiful calm waters of heaven, reunited with his dad, grandfather Farvey and all those who have gone on before us. He was so proud of you, Nicky, and so immensely proud of being an uncle to Remy. I'll never forget that cheeky grin and the unwavering support that he always gave and always the blue hearts. I love you, cuz cuz. He will always be watching caring and guiding us with his huge heart from heaven's ocean above. Love you always, Cuz Cuz.
Thank you. Was there anybody else who wished to speak? We've been hearing about Jaden's life in words, so we're now going to see his life through the lens of a camera with an audio visual presentation. Oh, bro. 
Brother, we go deeper than the ink beneath the skin of our tattoos No, we don't share the same blood, you're my brother and I love you, that's the truth We're living different lives, heaven only knows If we'll make it back with all our fingers in our toes Five years, twenty years, come back, we'll always be the same If I was dying on my knees, you would be the one to rescue me. And if you were drowned at sea, I'd give you my lungs so you could breathe. I've got you, brother. I've got you, brother. And if we hit on trouble, water, I'd be the one to keep. Safe and we'll be carrying each other until we say goodbye on a dying day. Because I've got you, brother. I've got you, brother. I've got you, brother. I've got you, brother. Got you, brother. If I was dying on my knees. Photos hold so many memories, memories for you now to keep. I'd like to share with you a poem written by Robin O'Connell and it may be how Jaden would see today. My time is up and no one knows why. I had so much to live for, I didn't want to die. To say goodbye to all of you is something I'd want to do. I can't do that now but I can share some thoughts with you. I loved you all in different ways, my family, my sister, my mates, and I know you love me too, but on love, how can you rate? Great times we had together are good memories you can keep. Just think of me as being in a deep and peaceful sleep. Although you cannot see me, I'll be watching over you. Hold on to that thought whenever you're feeling blue. A ride on a bike, a wild turkey in the fridge, these things remember me. Do for others what I do for you, for life goes on, you'll see. And remember, you're in my heart always, just as you were my whole life, my whole life through. Those who love Jaden would like me to express their appreciation for your presence here today and for all the support, love and care that you have given them. Very shortly we'll be taking Jaden to his final resting place at the Burney Lawn Cemetery next door and you're most welcome to join us for his burial service. Please stand if you are able. Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming 
You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight I've Always made my troubles feel so small you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my Troubles feel so small And 
you were always there to catch me when I'd fall in a world where heroes come and go where God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside of me And now we'll hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Tonight